Hello, my name is Kelsey and I am with Yoga's Arc. Um, I'm so happy that you're here for this new series, Yoga with Teens. Um, this is an introduction to basic yoga poses, breath work, and mindfulness. I've been working with teenagers for the past couple years um, and I just find so much joy. I think that there is so much power in yoga I wish that I would have had it um, at a younger age and could learn um, a little bit more mindfulness while I was going through high school um, or middle school. Um, being able to disconnect from technology a little bit and really just come in with your own body and yourself and know that you have so much beautiful power and even though there's ever-changing hormones and things going on, um, we do have access to come into our own beings and connect and, and feel better. So if you're here, I'm really excited to connect with you. Um, and as always, um, we at Yoga's Arc want to make sure that you are healthy and um, know that this is a physical practice. So if you have any pre-existing health conditions, please consult your physician or doctor before engaging in any sort of yoga. So if you're ready, um, you find a yoga mat or just a spot on your carpet, whatever feels good to you. And we are going to begin on our backs. So come and lie on the back. And we're just gonna begin with a simple breathing technique. So as you lie on your back, you're going to roll your shoulders slightly on your back, so your palms face up. And just allow yourself to be here. Maybe turning the phone on silent for a moment. And feeling your body. Feel into the spaces that might be tight. Or there might be some pain. And instead of worrying about that, just witness, just notice. Nice. So now we're gonna begin with um, a very simple breath work exercise. It will calm the nervous system and balance the hormones. And what you're going to do is take your right hand on your belly and your left hand on your heart. And you're going to take a deep breath into your belly. Inhale through your nose. Fill up that right hand so that your belly extends out like a big balloon. And then open the mouth. <sighs> Exhale out. And we'll do that again. Inhale just into the right hand. Fill up the belly. Open the mouth and release. And we'll do one more deep breath into the belly. Open mouth and release. Nice. So we're going to keep doing that, but this time you're going to breathe in through the nose and out through the nose. So you'll breathe in through the nose and filling up your belly. As big as a balloon. Exhale through the nose. Release that belly down. <clears throat> nice. So keep doing that a couple times. Inhale into belly. Exhale, release. A couple more times. Notice how you're feeling as you just breathe and extend the belly. All right, we're going to add another component now. So you're going to breathe into your right hand first and then breathe all the way up into your left hand, into your chest. And then exhale your left hand first, right hand second. Nice. So you'll inhale into the right hand, extend the belly. Inhale, inhale all the way up into 
the chest. Exhale, see if you can do the chest first and the belly second. So we'll do that a couple times. Just practice. It doesn't need to be perfect. Just tuning in to expanding your diaphragm. Enhancing the lungs. Nice. We'll add one more component now. You're going to inhale into the right hand, expand the belly, inhale into the left, and then all the way up into the collarbones, hold the breath. Exhale, collarbones first, left hand second, right hand third. Nice. So you'll inhale, right hand, left hand, Collarbones, hold the breath for a moment. Exhale, collarbones, right hand, left hand. Nice, so moving back and forth this way. Right hand, left hand, collarbones. Exhale, collarbones, left hand, right hand. Three part inhale, three part exhale. Couple more on your own. Beautiful. Then the next time you exhale, release your hands down beside you. And just become aware of now how your body feels. Beautiful. All right. We're going to inhale, reach your arms overhead, extend your legs straight, rotate your ankles. Stretch through your fingers and toes. Reach, reach, reach. Exhale, hug your knees in towards your chest. And begin to rock back and forth, side to side, massaging the lower back. So rock side to side. Notice how this feels on your hips, your gluteal muscles. Nice. So take your right knee, squeeze it in towards your chest, extend the left leg to the ground. You're gonna squeeze the leg in, feel that compression in your right hip. Notice the sensation. Use your breath to breathe into the sensation. Your breath has so much power. This is our innate power system. So use it to open up. Nice, now we're gonna take the leg and rotate it around in a nice big circle, opening up. Beautiful, bring your right hand out, your right arm right to, out to the right, left hand guides the right knee, across the body, gentle twist here. See if you can make sure your shoulders are staying on the ground and breathe. Deep inhale, exhale out. One more. Wonderful. Inhale, coming back through center. Hug your knees back in towards your chest. Extend your right leg straight. Squeeze that left knee in, breathing deeply. 
And then rotate that leg around, big open. Opening, opening up. Nice, now left hand goes out to the left. Right hand guides knee across the body. Take a deep twist and breathe deeply here. One more breath. Beautiful. Inhale, come back up to center. Knees come in. Give yourself a hug. Pull your forehead to your knees. Squeeze. Wonderful. Lower the head down. Plant your feet on the ground. Feel them rooted. You're going to lift your left shoulder and kind of tuck it under onto your back. Right shoulder onto your back. Plant your hands on the ground. You're going to press your feet into the mat. Inhale, lift your hips towards the ceiling. Nice. Exhale, you're going to come down and see if you can lower vertebrae by vertebrae until you drop your tailbone. Beautiful. Inhale, you're going to lift your hips. Exhale, lowering down. Nice. Keep moving this way with your breath. Yoga is all about the breath and movement connection. It's very difficult for our minds to wander when we're fully focused, fully present on moving with the breath. So keep going. Going slowly. This is an opportunity to slow down. Nice, beautiful. Now the next time the hips come down, we'll stay there, we're going to add our arms in. So on your inhale, you're going to lift your hips and reach those arms straight back behind you. Exhale, come back down, hips and hands touch the earth, same time. Inhale, lift the hips, arms overhead. Exhale, lower down, hips and hands touch the earth. And keep moving this way. Notice this slow, mindful movement. Two more. Nice. Last one. Inhale, lift. Exhale, come down. Wonderful. Good work. Nice. So we're going to extend that right leg into the air now. Okay, so you can keep the knee kind of bent. Rotate the ankle. Open up. Point. Flex the toes. Ah. Awesome. Now, you're going to take your right ankle to your left thigh and just kind of fan the knee up. Move it front and back, back and forth. So we're going to open up our hips here. The hips are where a lot of things can get tight. So we're going to stay right here. If this is a lot for you, if this feels good, stay here. Perfect. And just breathe into it. If you want to go deeper, you'll take your right hand, bring it through the opening between your legs. You're going to take your right hand behind your left hamstring, left hand behind, meaning that right hand, and you're going to pull your legs closer towards your body. Feel that sensation. Ooh, nice deep stretch into that right hip. Now, notice your chin. Is it like this towards the ceiling. If it is, let's tuck it down, lengthen the neck, and breathe here. Two 
two more breaths. That same breath you had in the beginning, breathing into the hip. Nice. Now let's just rock side to side. See how that feels. We're really just trying to come into the body. A lot of the times, you know, we get lost in social media or friends or what our parents want us to do, right? And really remembering that you are your own being and to feel into your body. All right, let's drop the left foot, drop the right foot, and just rock your knees from side to side. We'll just stay here, take a deep inhale. Audible sigh. Great. Inhale, extend the left leg into the air. You can keep the knee back. Rotate the ankle. Point and flex the toes. Awesome. Left ankle to right thigh. You're going to fan out the knee. Beautiful. Now again, if this feels good, you're going to stay here and breathe into this opening. This is a beautiful place to be. If you want to go deeper, left hand reaches through the opening, finding your right hamstring, right hand meeting there, and then pull the legs closer. Now you'll notice that one side might feel tighter than the other. Just become aware and breathe into that space. So like I said, our breath has so much power. Breathe into the tight space and see if you can notice how it expands. Two more breaths. We'll drop that right foot, drop the left foot, and just rock side to side. Nice work, everybody. We'll hug the knees in one more time. And we're going to rock, hands under the knees. You're going to rock on your spine, up and down. See if this feels good. If it does not, you can always turn to the side. And we'll come to a seated position. Nice. So finding a comfortable seat and get settled if you want to sit on something to elevate your hips, then please do that. If not, you will just sit on your mat and see how that feels for you. All right. Hmm, so we'll bring the palms to face down. We're going to work on grounding today. And palms face down can bring some grounding into our bodies. So let's have a nice long spine. The shoulders will come onto the back. When we sit like this, now you can try it. We tilt your chin up, shoulders shrugged. Kind of feels anxious, right? I don't like this feeling. So you're going to roll your shoulders on your back and then tuck the chin down. So you can do this at any time during your day if you're feeling any sort of anxiety. We're going to close the eyes. And just take a deep breath in and out. Begin to rotate your neck. <clears throat> nice slow rotations here.
Nice. Let your head hang now, your chin towards your chest. Pull your shoulders on your back. Opening up the back of the neck. Now inhale, lift the chin back. Open up the neck, front of neck. Inhale, come back to center. Beautiful, you're gonna inhale, reach your arms up overhead. Exhale, bring your right hand down, left arm reaches over, we're opening up the side body. So pull your shoulders away from your ears, pull your left hip down, and then reach through those side muscles. Deep breath in and out. Make sure your chest is open towards the ceiling, not concave down. We want to open and breathing. Two more breaths. Inhale, come to center. Exhale, come down. Nice. So left arm down, right arm reaches. Open the chest. Soften your shoulders away from your ears and take a deep breath. One more breath. Inhale, come to center, palms touch overhead. Exhale, hands to heart. Nice. All right, we're gonna come hands to knees. So hands and knees are gonna come, this is called a tabletop. If you need some support underneath your knees, you can find a blanket or a pillow. And we're gonna spread the fingers out wide to support our wrists. And we're going to work with the wrist for a little bit. So you're going to flip your fingers back towards your knees, walking it out. And then the next hand, walking it out, rocking back and forth. And then flipping one wrist over at a time. And then another. And then you're going to sit on your heels and just rotate your wrists around. Nice, alternate ways. So texting, typing on the computer, you wanna open up the wrists, right? So let's plant the hands again. You want your wrists under your shoulders and your knees right under your hips. Make sure your knees are about the same distance as your hips, so they're not squeezed together, they're a little bit separated. This is called a cat cow. We're gonna move with our breath. As you inhale, you're gonna lift your tailbone, arch your spine and open your heart. And then as you exhale, tuck your tailbone, round, chin comes to chest. Open up the shoulder blades. Inhale, opening heart, arching spine. Exhale, rounding chin to chest. Inhale, open heart, arch spine. Exhale, tuck and round. Beautiful work. Keep moving this way on your breath, going slow. It's easy to move fast, right? It takes more practice, more presence to be slow. Last one. Nice. And then just find some movement in the hips. You can rotate them around, opening up. And go in the other direction. Awesome. Now walk your hands slightly out in front of your shoulders, so they're not right under, they're slightly out in front. You're gonna take a nice deep inhale and rock forward, and then you're gonna lower onto your belly. Elbows stay next to ribs, okay? Inhale, press your hands into the mat, open your heart, gentle cobra. Exhale, come down, 
Press your hands into the mat and you're going to round back. Your knees come as wide as your mat. Your seat goes to your heels. Reach your arms out, forehead to mat. Child's pose. And I want you to stay here for a moment and breathe into this space, okay? Opening up the hips. Feeling calm, centered here. This balances out the nervous system. Now, on your next inhale, plant your hands, round your spine up, and then we're going to go down again. Exhale, onto your belly. Inhale, press your hands into the mat, open your heart. And then now exhale, press your hands into the mat, press back, child's pose. Inhale, round up. Exhale, lower. Inhale, open your heart. Exhale, child's pose. Beautiful. We're going to move together on that four-part inhale, four-part exhale, okay? So inhale, rounding up. Exhale, lowering down. Inhale, opening the heart. Exhale, child's pose. Do two more on your own, please. Close the eyes and really connect with your breath and movement as one. Beautiful. Next time you find a child's pose, let's stay there, okay? <clears throat> Take a nice deep breath in and out. Nice. Stay with your breath. Breathing in <clears throat> and out. Beautiful. One more deep inhale and out. Nice. <clears throat> Let's inhale, come back to a tabletop. <clears throat> We're going to move into a downward facing dog. So you're going to tuck your toes. Press your booty back into the air. Keep your knees slightly bent, okay? And you want to lengthen your spine, pressing the booty back and dropping the head down. Downward facing dog, shaking the head out. Nice. So bend it to one knee and straighten the other. Kind of moving about. Awesome. We're going to inhale to a plank pose. We're going to feel some fire in the body now. So you don't want your booty too high or too low. Plank pose. Pull your belly in towards your spine. Nice long neck. Three. Breathing. Two. One. Exhale down dog. Inhale, find that plank one more time. Exhale, downward facing dog. Nice work. Okay, let's breathe in our down dog. And then you're going to bring your feet as wide as your mat. So step your feet out as wide as your mat. Walk your hands back towards your feet. Bend the knees slightly, and you're going to hang. So this is really good for our spine. We're going to hang here. Maybe grab opposite elbows with your hands. And sway side to side. Nice. This is good to do every day. Awesome. So now we're going to roll up to standing. Vertebrae by vertebrae. Stack your vertebrae. Your head comes up last. Roll your shoulders onto your back. Beautiful. Inhale, reach your arms up overhead. Exhale, folding down. Hanging heavy again. 
Great. We're going to take a little twist. So you're going to bend into your right knee. Your right fingertips are going to come underneath your nose. You're going to inhale and then twist. Lift that left arm into the air. Keep your left leg straight, right knee bent. If you need something under this hand, you could do a can or give a block or a pillow. Keep this left shoulder open for three. One more breath. Two and one. Exhale, fold down. Nice. So now bend the left knee, straighten the right leg. Left hand comes under nose. Inhale and then twist. Lift that right arm into the air. Nice. For three. One more breath. Two. And release. Exhale down. Good job. Shaking it out. Okay, bend the knees. Roll up again. Vertebrae by vertebrae. Inhale. Arms coming up. Exhale. Hands to heart. Beautiful. Okay, so we're going to bring the feet about hip distance apart. You're going to take a big step forward with your right foot, okay? You're going to take a big step forward. And then bending this left knee, we're going to come down. Hands come down. We're going to find a runner's lunge. So if you need to walk your stance out, do that. You want your right knee in line with your left, I'm sorry, your right ankle in line with your left knee. Okay, and just kind of rock back and forth here. Mm, getting into the hips again. Notice how this feels. We're going to find movement one more time. So if you need to drop your back knee, you always can. And again, if you want props like it, you can use cans for your hands. But we're going to move with our breath. So we're going to inhale, open the heart, bend the knee. Exhale, you're going to straighten your leg, forehead towards the knee. It does not have to touch. Stretching the right hamstring. Inhale, bending the knee, opening the heart. Exhale, round forehead to knee. Inhale, bending knee, open heart. Exhale, round. Good job. Two more. Bending knee. Nice. Let's drop that back left knee now. Hands come onto the right knee. Nice. And we're just going to stretch here. Breathing deeply. Maybe sinking your hips a little bit down to stretch into that left. Nice. Awesome. Let's drop the hands. Bring that right knee to meet the left. You're going to lower onto your belly. Inhale, that gentle cobra. Exhale, tuck your toes, down dog. Nice deep breath. Inhale, open mouth, exhale. Beautiful. Spread the feet out wide. Walk your hands back. Hang heavy. Inhale, rolling up. Reach arms up overhead. Palms touch. Exhale, hands to heart. Close your eyes, feel your body. Nice. Now, take a big step forward that left foot. Right? Okay, we can come down, drop that right knee. Hands come next to the left foot. Left ankle in line with left knee. Okay, so again, you can always keep your knee, your back knee on the ground, or you can lift it. Whatever feels good. And we're going to move. So inhale, bend the knee, open the heart. Exhale, round forehead to knee. Inhale, bend the knee, open the heart. Exhale, round. Keep moving on your breath. Nice. Last one. Inhale, bend the knee. Drop your back knee. Hands come to the left knee. Pull your left hip back, right hip forward. Sink into your hips a little bit. 
opening up these tight spaces. Wonderful. Nice. Let's bring our hands down. Left knee to right. Lower onto the belly. This time we're going to find an upward facing dog. So you're going to inhale. Press your hands into the mat and your shoulders come on the back. Belly button comes off the floor. Child's pose. Nice. Keep the forehead to the ground. Breathing deeply here. Nice deep breaths in and out. Beautiful. Let's inhale, come to that tabletop again. Extend your right leg behind you. The toe turns down, your right hip turns down. Pull your belly in. Nice. You can stay here. Or let's balance. Extend that left arm out straight. You have a dristy, a focal point. Something to look at in front of you. Nice. For three, two, one. Bring it back in. Inhale, that left leg extends. Turn the toe down. Pull the belly in. Extend your right arm out, finding a focal point. For three, two, and one. Nice, dropping everything down. Just shaking it out a little bit. Let's find a down dog one more time. Bring the feet out wide. Walk the hands back, forward fold. Stay here. Rolling up slowly. Reaching arms overhead. Exhale, hands to heart. Nice work. So we're gonna go for wide-legged. So you're gonna come the length of your mat. Bring your legs out wide. Your toes are going to be in. Heels are going to be out. I'm going to do a shoulder stretch. You're going to interlace your hands behind your back. Elbows come straight. So it doesn't matter how far that you can bring your hands over your head, just that you're getting a gentle stretch. So you're going to inhale, open the heart. Exhale, bow down. Extend your arms into the air. Nice. Pulling shoulders away from ears. Breathing deeply. Now release your hands down to the ground. Hands on either side of feet. Stretch the head towards the earth. Beautiful. Hands come on the hips. Inhale, rising up. Nice work. Let's bring our feet semi together, okay? So what we're going to do is just open... Um, the fascia in our body. The fascia is what lines, it's right under the skin. So it's what, it lines our entire body. And what's most relevant to it is if you open up, if you peel an orange and you see that white lining around the orange, that would be like the fascia. So we're just gonna bounce and this kind of helps open everything up in our body. So you're just bouncing up and down on your heels. Your heels are going up and down, shaking it out. Nice. <laughs> All right, we're going to stop and you're just going to sway side to side. Nice, beautiful. Come to the top of your mat. Arms are going to come right out in front of you, okay? And you're going to bend the knees and you're going to slide down like you'd be sliding on a wall. Nice, sitting, beautiful. Okay, have the feet planted, your belly comes in. Now we're gonna lift one foot and the other. It's called Navasana Boat Pose. Arms come out. Nice. Now you're gonna take a deep inhale, exhale, you're gonna come halfway down. Inhale, comes up. Two more. 
Exhale, halfway down. Inhale up. Exhale, halfway down. Inhale up. Beautiful. Let's plant the feet. Nice. Nice work, everybody. Come into a butterfly. Soles of feet come together. Kind of rock it out here. I like to go from side to side or around in a circle. And we're going to inhale, extend the spine. Exhale, bow forward. Breathing into those hips. So the hips are where a lot of tension resides. We sit a lot. Um, so we're really opening these up. And we'll just breathe here. Breathe into the hips. Inhale, coming up. Beautiful. So we're just going to find a comfortable seated position. And I'm going to speak a little bit on the energy of the systems within our body. So there is a lot of power in our imagination. And if you can, you know, remember as we were little and we had all these fun ideas and we could play without, you know, any distractions and go into all these different worlds, right? Like our imagination is is really powerful and as we grow up and go through school and then have friends and you know have to listen to what our parents are saying and respecting and all of that is beautiful but then it sometimes takes away from our imagination so we're going to tune into the imagination and we're going to work with what is called the root chakra and it is a system within our body that um, helps us energetically and so we can go into that more later but I just want to tune into how it feels. So we're going to close the eyes and I invite you to bring your awareness, your mind's eye, to the very base of your spine, your tailbone. Just feel your tailbone here. Now I want you to imagine that you have tree roots that are beginning to form from your tailbone. Now, whether you're on the ground or you're in upper levels, you're gonna imagine the tree roots making their way all the way through the levels down into the earth, goes into the center of the earth. Feel the tree roots weaving and winding in the soil, the deep dark soil of the earth. Feel yourself connected. You always have this. Breathe into it. And repeat after me. I am grounded. I am safe. I am strong. mind wanders, just come back to your tree roots, see them underground, weaving around. Beautiful. Okay, so we'll open our eyes. Very good job. We're going to come onto our backs and come into Shavasana, which is one of the most important poses of yoga. It integrates everything that we just did. So you'll lie on your back. Shoulders come onto the back, palms face up. Take a nice deep breath in. Open mouth, exhale. And rest here. Feel your toes, ankles, your calves, shins, legs, hips, tailbone, belly, 
arms, chest, neck, jaw, cheeks, eyes, forehead. Feel your entire body and rest. Mm, nice. So come back to the body as you take a deep breath in and out. Reaching arms overhead once more, pulling body apart. You're going to roll to one side, press yourself up to seated, having the eyes closed. Bring our palms together, hands at heart space. So I want you to offer some gratitude. Gratitude is a very powerful way when you're feeling any sort of anxiety or feeling down or depressed. It's really a beautiful way to come out of that. So I want you just to, I invite you to think about the things you have in your life home, good parents, good friends, fresh food, fresh water, and feel into all the abundance, all the joy and the gifts that you have in your life right now. Thank you all so much. I am so excited to be on this journey with you. Have a beautiful time, beautiful day. Namaste. Thank you everybody. And as always, if you have any extra comments or questions, please drop them um, underneath this video. And I look forward to connecting with you all again.